The Gibbons vs. Ogden case culminated from the fact that the state of New York gave Aaron Ogden the exclusive rights to operate on the Hudson River. Both Ogden and Gibbons owned steamboat ferries, but New York gave the clear monopoly to Ogden, creating an imbalance of economic power. The reason why this case made it all the way to the Supreme Court was the question of whether or not states have the power to grant a monopoly of the state waterways to a single entity. Chief Justice John Marshall ruled in favor of Mr. Gibbons, declaring that the Ogden Monopoly violated the Federal Licensing Act of 1793. Summarily, this was the first time that the Supreme Court used the Commerce Clause to disclose the fact that the federal government had exclusive control over interstate commerce. The Supreme Court's decision asserted their belief in the supremacy of the federal government over the states. The Gibbons decision established for all time the supremacy of the national government in all matters affecting interstate and foreign commerce. This decision even later applied to issues such as railways, airlines, and even racial segregation. Audible Ogden was obviously off his rocker thinking he had outright controlled the overflowing Hudson. 